Hello everybody, it's Linda and today I'm going to show you how I made this butterfly which is very similar to the one that I have on the front cover of my wallflower mini album. So let's get started. You of course need to have his awesome die and it's this one layered butterfly and uh, then we just cut it I'm using just black basil cardstock um, if you want a more heavyweight uh, butterfly of course you can use like a cereal box or or something like um, chipboard that thickness uh, <clears throat> what you can also do and what I'm going to do today is to add uh, aluminum foil tape which you can get from your hardware stores and I'm going to add that to the back of the butterfly because when you do that you will get a butterfly that you can shape a little bit more and it will stay more in the shape that you put it in but you don't need that uh, on this album I did not put anything on the back of it you know nothing special just it's just regular cardstock so okay it doesn't matter if they overlap or anything then i use my big shot and i put this Let's see, I have to check which way is going to be face down. So, um, your embossing folder that comes with this die is going to have some like indentations and raised areas. And uh, I want the biggest areas that you can see here, I want them raised. So that's why I put the, the raised part on the bottom and this on the top. And then I have to check the wings on, on the butterfly die to see that they coordinate, you know, when I put it face up. So, so I'm going to run it through my Big Shot with the aluminum foil face down. Okay, so here is my butterfly with the aluminum foil under it. And then it's time to do the embossing. So I need my multi-purpose platform. I open, I take down one of the tabs and I leave one. And then this one. And then you put your butterfly and you line it up inside the embossing folder and make sure now that you have the indentations and the the way the butterfly wings are and everything on the right side. Then we run it through. And as you can see, it's now embossed. So now the coloring starts. I am using black cardstock because that will, you know, look the best for my project because I'm going to to make it like golden and greenish colors so you can use any kind of cardstock but if you want the same color effect that I am having then if you use another color cardstock just paint over it either with black acrylic paint or with black gesso that will do the trick for you so let's see what we do we can use sprays. If you have Lindy Stamp Gang, you have Prima sprays, you have some like Tim Holtz uh, sprays, anything will do. So what I'm going to use is, is the Distress Spray Stains from Tim Holtz. I'm, I've picked up uh, gold and antique bronze, like tarnished brass, antique bronze. So you just give them a good shape. You need to see that they're mixed properly. And then you just go ahead and spray. You know. Then you use a piece of paper 
and you rub it onto your butterfly. Like so. Black Distress Spray Stain. And dab some off. And now I'm going to use Inca Gold. You can use like any kind of metallic paint um, and or you can use uh, Rub and Buff. I'm using this Lava Green. And mine is fairly dry. So I'm going to just put some water on my finger and just rub. And I'm just putting some hair some there. Okay, as you can see, it's fairly gray still, so I want it more brown, the gold brown. And this is really soft still. can see now it's really cool right and the thing is because if you're not happy with how much color here how much color there you just do another layer and you change things around I'm going to spray over it with some more of the black Dis distress spray stain just dabbing off some of it keeping some you see, it darkens it and gives a really cool effect. And you can use your paint dabber. The, the point is of this, is no worries, right? Just go ahead and play with it because you can go in and change things over and over until you're happy. So... Now I've darkened the, the outer edges of the butterfly, which I think looks really cool. But now it's all like blackish and brownish, and I need some more green to go in there. So, again, I need to dip my finger in water. There are some tricks for making these soft, but uh, I haven't found any tricks that works really well so far. So... I'm just doing it this way because they still work even though they're dried like mine. You just need to add a little bit of water. I kept, I, I used the trick that you keep baby wipe in it, <laughs> which just gave it lots of moldiness, you know, so I had to throw it away. So uh, be careful to keep baby wipes in there. You might not get the, the result that you're after. Okay, so here it is. I'm beginning to really like it. And uh, now let's do the, the spoon thing that I did in the middle. I've got this little spoon. It's bought from um, an eBay seller. You know, you can just Google sp uh, spoon charms or you can just go on eBay and search for spoon charms and find them just make sure that you agree with the the price of the shipping before you order anything so this is going here and uh, what I want is I want some twine around its body and maybe I'm going to use black on this one you know yeah I used light colored on the other one just showing you like this but I want to use black on that one put a little bit of glue and I lay the, the string down and I start going just round and round so now I think it's pretty nice and even. 
then I just whoops just go put a little bit of glue behind there that was not a little bit that was quite much so I'm just taking off some and I just put the string on the back like so and I just cut the ends okay so this is going to be the body of my butterfly and uh, attaching metal to anything using a glue gun is just a waste of time you need e6000 or some other strong glue and uh, but what you can do when when there's twine on it then it's no problem then you can attach it to here you just need to your your butterfly to be dry so just blow dry it a little and make sure that or just wait and make sure it's it's really dry the paper before you glue this down and then you can use your glue gun to glue it down so I've glued down the the body and I'm going to use a 10 millimeter flat back pearl to to put there I'm grabbing my glossy accents whoops And then make sure I have enough because the spoon is hollow so I need some of the glue to make contact with the spoon so I'm putting some on the edges here because that's where it's going to sort of connect and then I just leave it until it's dry so because I have the foil I can just bend the the butterfly into shape right so if I want it to stand out more on a page then it will not you know bounce back so easily so that's why I'm using the, the foil under it so that's your butterfly I hope you enjoyed the tutorial I hope you found it helpful and I hope now that you are not that afraid you know to just go ahead and play with your stuff because you know if I was like totally unhappy with this so what do you do? You just use black paint and you just paint over it and you start over because the black paint is only going to make your paper more sturdy anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, so have fun, play with your stuff, enjoy and make some wonderful things. So thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye bye.